Okay, so I'm really, really, really tired. I'm exhausted. <laughs> it was a long week, but <clears throat> I just wanted to share some of the feelings I've been having because I just hit seven months in my mission and I wanted to share a little bit of what I've learned in these seven months I've had here in Guatemala. Um, I guess I can just start with, I love my mission. I love my mission. There are days where I'm just looking out over the, these giant hills and all these mangoes everywhere and these colorful clothing and everything. People talking Spanish and I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. This sounds really weird. I don't want to leave. And that's a good thing because I, I like a lot of time. It's okay. It's okay. But I feel like it's going to go really, really fast in the same time. Um, I've had four areas. Um, my first area was in Monteverde um, in Utetlan. And I was born there with my mom, Mara Guevara, from Texas. And I think the biggest thing I learned there was that you can't doubt yourself. You can never doubt yourself on the mission. I'm like, don't be, you know, egotistical. Is that a word? I don't know. Um, obviously, but see, like, how do you say that in English? Follow the spirit. I can't talk in English. This is terrible. Follow the spirit. You have to follow the spirit always. And don't doubt it. And it's not important if you don't know the language. Just don't have fear. Just do it. Um, my second area was in Barcones de San Cristobal. And I was with the Maravillas de Andores. And the biggest thing I learned there was how to really love the people. Barcones was really, really hard. We didn't find anybody. Nobody was baptized. Nobody came to church. We didn't do anything. We did everything we could. But I had some of the most sacred experiences there that I will never, ever forget. Um, they're really, really sacred. And I, because of Barcones, I know for a fact that God lives. And I know he guides his work. Um, my third area was Monte Maria, with the Mara Hernandez de Andorras. All my companions are from Andorras. <laughs> yeah, that was my favorite area. I loved Monte Maria. There were so many people there that I loved so much. And when they told me I was having, I was having changes, I cried so much because I didn't want to leave. Um, we saw a lot of miracles there. And I learned how to really trust in the Lord. And trust in the Lord that He miracles can happen. If you have faith, they're not always going to happen in the way you think. They're not always going to result in baptisms or something like that. But it will always be the right thing for you. And because He not only knows all of our sad, sadness, just this, He knows all of our, I don't know how to say this in English, pains and everything but he also knows all of our happiness and if we trust him he'll lead us toward that happiness and now i'm here in san juan zacatepeques with the manadadrio my hijastra de mexico and she's crazy and i love her i love her so much she's so peerless and this is my first time being a senior companion and i'm scared this is really scary i don't really i still feel like i don't know what i'm doing but <laughs> We're learning how to trust in the Lord every day. We had a really good day today. We found two nuevos. We we contacted the law. We had a noche de hogar. It was really it was a good day. I'm tired, but I'm really really happy. And so, I guess I just wanted to say that I don't want to waste another minute in my mission. I love every moment. There are some times where it's been really really hard. I don't think I've cried this much. <laughs> ever but I love it I really really do there have been some times so sacred I can't even describe it um, but just to leave you to my testimony um, 
Yo sé que, que Dios vive, que Jesucristo vive, más que todo, Jesucristo vive. Y como presidente de este nos dijo en la conferencia general, que, para, que realmente podemos recibir revelación personal, específicamente para nuestros investigadores. Y también al mismo tiempo, podemos recibir revelación personal para nosotros mismos. Y yo sé que Dios está en cargo de su obra. Y en cada momento, si estamos dignos, de, dignos del Espíritu Santo, el Espíritu Santo va a guiarnos. ¿Y quién necesitamos visitar? ¿Y quién, ¿Y quién necesitamos enseñar? Y yo no sé, mis, mis investigadores siempre, siempre están en mi mente. Es nuevo. Pero yo tengo mucho amor para ellos. Y solo quiero lo mejor para ellos. Y todavía mi español no es perfecto. Todavía mi a mí me falta mucho en seguir el Espíritu Santo. No somos perfectos, pero somos perfectos en tratando cada día. Estoy bien agradecido por ese tiempo que, te, que, yo, que yo tengo en mi misión. Y nunca voy a olvidarlo. Y solo saben que ah, les amo mucho, muchísimo, muchísimo. Y solo sigan adelante. Y sé que la, esa es la iglesia verdadera. Que José Smith realmente fue un profeta de Dios. Y el libro de Mamón es la palabra de, de Jesucristo. Y otro testamento. Porque yo haré y recibí mi respuesta. Esa es la verdad. Y ese es mi testimonio. Y en el nombre de Jesucristo, amén. Pero, I love you all. And I hope you have a great week. I think that's it. Bye.